Well, as I can potentially say, we've got two tiny slash pack pack there nowadays coming. I've got a engine, there are two locomotives coming, two totally different times. And I'm so glad that Proteus is back up and running, eh? You know, that, that little yellow side of paint that looks like the handles and comes and things. But anyway, speaking of two, I've actually got, you know what, two two fat products which are from the Fifth Lower Dummy, like a good thing. Both of them are not British Wallace well, Russian toys, and they're just based on plain old pigeons. Take a look, and um, probably going to be quite a bit of a short video, but we've only got two products to review though. Remembering that, yes, as I'm making this video though, I just can't believe I'm using a freaking Logitech webcam to make videos there, and I, could, I, I don't know what I'm saying here, but there you go. Those are the two products here, and uh, I've got to say what, today has been quite a cold spring actually, it felt like what Christmas was like though. Maybe Boxing Day obviously though. And yes, it was quite a snowy Easter, it was actually a post snow Easter that we're having on the Monday, we're having that really weird cold snap though. First of all, such a Christmas day. You know, first of all we're getting a whole bunch of Arctic air and Scandinavian air, but anyways. I'm just going to go ahead and just review those pick up toys. Remember I'm using a Logitech webcam camera, obviously, and um, it's an HD version that I've actually got during the summer of 2020. Oh, my goodness me, Proteus is blocking the white out. I wonder what this is. Ooh, it's an Oriental Roller Pigeon Captive Flock 12 pack, £13.50. And speaking of the price of number 13, guess what? This Strizer's Pigeon Fancy Flock and Colour Version 12 Pack is also £13, but look at the price. 99 pence. And that's basically one pence away, £14. And uh, I've got to tell you what, I definitely say this one here is a lot more cheaper, but I don't know how much colour you get though. Um, there's the back of the packaging there. Looks quite interesting there, the artwork there. All oh, have pinkish bricks, and uh, they're all based on Oriental rollers, and that's pretty much is that Sega or is that a pigeon? That looks more like a realistic pigeon, though, by the wings, though. Eh? Well, obviously, there's no wing kit there because it's not a figure, it's a pigeon. Obviously, as you were saying, figures are pigeons on steroids. Oh well, yes, figures are pigeons on steroids. Obviously, I don't know what I'm repeating here. And here's the other product there. There you go, I'm just going to take a look at the back of the packaging of the Strasser Pigeons Flock 12 pack. There you go. It's quite a very interesting product if you ask me. There's not many pigeons on the packaging though, as you can see. Eh? Yeah, it looks quite almost realistic, those poses though. And well, I'm just going to go ahead and unpack both of these up and see what you get. And uh, I'm just going to start off with the cheap one, the Oriental Roller Pigeons. Captive flock 12 pack. And I gotta tell you what, as I've used this camera before and I've started to make, you know, as I've made videos like this um, before, uh, I gotta tell you what, it's been so so different. And before I should continue, I could, I could literally say something like this though, before videos were like this, um, obviously we had the coronavirus pandemic, and war though, and strangely enough, what we had recently so far was I used to remember making videos via a phone and also a tablet, which sadly got dead though, because I just broke it on purpose by accident, no way. Eh? And um, well, let's take a look. We've got this one here. I think all pigeons are different though. This one here, it just says Oriental Roller Pigeon now. But there are different variations of pigeons, and that phone is blocking the way though. That's not a good look, eh? In fact, I might lift the light out and bring it in a bit closer, eh? How's that? A bit of thump and stamping on the background, though. But the rocker sounds of toy trains, I love them. And it uh, looks quite, quite nice. Flat, flat, flat. Okay, I've got the beautiful green and purple of mixed colorization going on here. I don't know! I actually realised Luke has actually been wild. Now as I'm talking with you here, remember that the effects of the virus started to occur in the United Kingdom back in February, in fact, if you remember, we actually had sniffs of it going back to at least around the time when Britain started to leave the EU, obviously. 
the final way. It was around January the 31st. Wow, that's quite a very interesting pack there, but um, yeah, very interesting actually there. But I'm um, just going to go ahead and, you know, move on to the other pigeons there. This one here is, ooh, that's a very strangely coloured pigeon now. I'd probably call this as like a brownish, blackish, brown, black bar pigeon. It's quite a very weird one, though. And then, um, looks quite interesting. I love the neck collar design. I don't think it could be a collar sort of design, though. It's got a chain. Let's see, that was Proteus. Um, both of these trains have got very, very um, brand new batteries, though. And it would be quite nice. Lovely black tail end, though. Same thing there on the other side as well. Then we've got this guy here who's pretty much purple and black. I love the colours added into this pigeon eye. There you go. That's very, very nice. And I could just go flat, 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 flat. And there's the other one there. Okay, it looks quite interesting there. All of them have got the same seagull like eyes. And it reminds me of what seagull eyes would usually look like though, but they're pigeons. And it's another brown bar pigeon with like grey in it though. Pretty cool. And um, looks quite quite nice actually though. And what's quite surprising is, is that all these pigeons, according to what the packaging says, they all have pinkish beaks. Well let's hope they're all correct right. Yeah, it looks quite nice though. This is a very yellowish, ochre looking coloured pigeon. Very very nice. And I've also got this brownish looking pigeon. In fact, there's actually quite a couple of brown pigeons here. Therefore, I'm just gonna flap this one out. It looks pretty much nice and inviting, that sort of looking to it. kind of like the neck details on that pigeon, though. Which looks pretty nice. There's the other side. Yeah, so that looks quite nice, obviously, though. I mean, they're just based on normal regular pigeons though that you see on the cities and towns and other urbanized rural areas and blah blah there you go what a nice design okay lovely blue bar design i think it's called a blue bar pigeon even though it's got black and grey in it and then we've also got this one here also the neck colorization there is a bit different there it's more purple rather than green and purple combined together though it's just that single color on the neck Sorry if I'm being a bit rough and ready though, but um, anyways, there's this one here, this one's brown with what well, looks like to have like a purplish looking head, okay, that's that, and um, this one here, actually if I go back to this one it says blue bar, very interesting sort of form into it though, and we've got another one there, that's another very unusual looking pigeon colour, looks like my foot just came into some sort of weird contact onto the train with the Proteus naughty naughty and um, there's the other side here and there's the tail that looks quite nice very interesting colours on those pigeons though and then we've also got this peaceful one here it's like the peace dove oh yes that looks very nice and white looking although it does look bland it does have the word peaceful in it though and then we're in there basically domestic pigeons or travel pigeons. Yeah, that looks quite nice actually though, eh? Quite nice indeed. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these back. Because I want to go ahead and show you the Strata Fancy Pigeon Slot Slot Pack and Color Variation Product. Or is it Strata Fancy Pigeons Slot and Color Variation Slot Pack? I can't remember, eh? Pretty amazing, eh? Remember in that, that product has a maximum of 12 items which is pretty much interesting and I think that's what I am just going to put them back to where they are and I'll just take a look at the Dex product which will be very amazing In you go you lot you poopy pigeons Let's take a look at this one here and see what you get for money I love the um, artwork there uh, and what's quite funny is, is that with this logo, because it's like in the shape of a pigeon, I would have coloured this one in. But I didn't have time, so anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and pack this. And ooh, that's very interesting. We've got a couple of yellow ones here. And what's quite funny is, is that this product 
comes with two pigeons which actually have the same exact colour though. There is a yellow one there, which looks like that. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad actually though. Although you can see some woods at the back of the tile. And like I say, well, it looks really amazing, that pigeon. Very interesting eyes. Although the eyes, they don't look that, you know, accurately and properly detailed, obviously, eh? Flat, flat, flat. Yeah, it looks quite cool, eh? There's the other side. And we've also got a second yellow one here. Just looks identical to the other pigeon that we looked at there. And it looks pretty golden yellow in colour, eh? I would have said the other one there from that Oriental Roller product was golden yellow, but this one looks, actually looks more like bright yellow than gold, if you ask me. Very interesting. Now we've also got this one here, which is a very unusually coloured looking pigeon with grey and green colours into it though, with grey at the front of it. Same eye detailing. And actually these are the eyes that you'd most likely find on a real pigeon compared to a seagull eye. Maybe not though. <laughs> And there's another one of these, but this one here is a, is a blue bar driver pigeon, they all say the wood driver pigeon, but they are completely and utterly different at all times, not only for the fact that they're just different, but it's just the colour morphs that makes it super, super different. And we've also got this one here. First of all, we're getting a lot more pigeon products than seagulls these days, I have to say, eh? And it looks like a camouflage, military style pigeon. But you sort of train these pigeons for the war and stuff, I don't know. Very, very nice. And I might show you this one here. It's quite a very nice piece of detailing, eh? And this one there looks like... It's got the same detail as the um, That one's very different. And this one here is missing the lines on both sides of the wings there. That would have been... A lot more like that. And it's actually a lot more darker in colour though. The tone of grey though. And we've also got this one here. Which has that sort of detailing there. Just plain grey without anything else. And the white bars instead of blue blackish bars. Quite weird. And we've also got another one as well. My goodness me. They're literally in the same detailing. This is obviously eh? and designs and we've also got another one here flat 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 my goodness me I just can't believe it though and I've actually written you know all pigeons that they all just say the word striker pigeons on them and how about this one here um, I don't know about here it's me it looks quite nice though yeah well I think that's about it guys that's pretty much about it and I gotta tell you what, I don't know about you, but I was about to do a third product though, recently this morning though, um, but I didn't have time, and I was actually quite drowsy though because of the cold weather that we had recently though, so, I don't know what I might do at the moment though, um, but I think that's about it though, and strangely enough, I was going to be doing more and more toy reviews uh, yesterday, but I was just too busy doing, you know, loads and loads of pigeons. You know, a lot of black and blue pigeon products. So hopefully, we might see more pigeons than seagulls. There's a bit of a very weird changing trend on the products that I make these days. Oh, hang on. There's actually one more I've actually forgot though. That's strange. I must have left it inside the packaging though. It's very similar to... Uh, which pigeon was it to? I can't remember which pigeon was it similar to. Uh, this pigeon here, got small eyes. Small eye detailing, and it's actually very similar to this guy here. I just can't believe it. There, they actually come in like doubles of the same pigeons, but with like different eyes. Some of the detailing is quite different, but um, they just remain the same, obviously, eh? Um, yes, that's quite nice, eh? Just looking at a huge variety of pigeon products. Well, obviously two of them. It's quite unusual. Well, there you go. That's pretty much about it. There, just a quickie sort of groovy about pigeons and I just, you know, it's so unbelievable I just can't believe that doing story use just helps to make my YouTube channel sort of grow a bit because today's YouTube is beginning a lot more stupid and sensitive these days which I think that's pretty much the negative aspect about YouTube of today so, there you go 
that's these products done. Two of them are done, of course, I. Right? So, with the rocker sounds of time, that's the rest of this whole video if I'm making it. I think that's about it, guys. Not much to say about these products, though, but they look super cool. And um, anyway, let's just go ahead and. Oh, I don't know what to say, eh? but if you really have enjoyed this video here, please give this video a like, subscribe for more such videos in the future. And I gotta tell you what, I'm just so, so glad I'm just doing another flip up toy view, eh? And yes, just to let you know, I was gonna be doing a third product, as I said earlier in this video, though, but I didn't have time because of the cold weather, and I was really, really drowsy, though. I felt like I was gonna feel sick at that moment, though. But anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching, and, and, watch me now, let's go to a couple lives. Bye-bye.